guys, what's up? It's Katie, and I am back with another war video. I know, so cool, right? Uh, this war is from week six. It's the first war of the week, and it actually just wrapped up a few hours ago. And this war was a tough one. And you'll see, you know what? No spoilers. No spoilers. So the alliance we are going up against is the Kurt of whatever trademark, I don't, I don't really know. They are a 14 million alliance rating with a 2,000 war rating. Currently they are in a gold, or they are in the gold one bracket, and this is the highest ranked alliance um, as far as brackets go that we have faced so far. <laughs> and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you guys what, they put up a good fight. And you'll see how this one turns out. So I brought in my normal crew of Ghost Rider, Star Lord, and Blade. I love Ghost Rider and Blade so much. <laughs> we are on path five again. So right here is the first one. You've got 50% power. Um, it's an Optimus node. Uh, let's see. It's just you know the normal diversity. Usually nobody too tough. Uh, and this time we have a five-star Hawkeye, and so I have my five-star Star-Lord, just punching him in the face, making pretty easy work of this Hawkeye. I mean, he's down in 15 hits. All right, this next one is the Kinetic Reactor node with a little bit of heal block on special attacks. And we've got a five-star cosmic. Now, I actually wasn't sure who was who it was going to be. I thought it might be a, a Hyperion, so I brought in Ghost Rider so I could power drain him if necessary. But it ended up being a Ronin, and you guys all know Ronin. His specials are really easy to dodge. I mean, I actually, see, with me, I actually prefer to evade his um, special two over a special one. For some reason, every now and then, that special one will catch me on the tail end, but he doesn't get it this time, and Ghost, make, Ghost Rider's making pretty short work of him, and I understand I'm not using Ghost Rider to his full potential. I could have had him down in less hits, you know, gaining the fury and everything, but 30 hits, he goes down, and we move on to the next node, which is the masochism, a little bit of energy resistance <clears throat> and we've got a four star science on here so now when I scouted this path I was thinking it was going to be a MODOK but it ends up being a void and I am still not the best at void I mean especially if you watched one of the other videos because uh, you know fighting void is all about timing and I brought Blade in here and I mean look Blade got him almost down before he gets the the Degen buff on me, so I didn't take much damage here, but I really got to get used to fighting Void. I know I'm going to see him on the higher levels as we move up. So this next node is the power gain on this. Oh, I'm just I'm just checking uh, over here to see who the mini boss is. I want to check that out. Depending on who the mini boss was, was depending who I was going to use here since. I would definitely use Star-Lord on that mini-boss. I decided to bring in Blade, and we have a Thor Fraggle Rock, I mean, Ragnarok. <laughs> and uh, Thor Ragnarok can be tricky if you're not paying attention to him. I'm trying to keep him just a little bit above that one bar of power, and just making sure my hit, hit counts are good. Thor on this node is good because with that power gain, He's easy to get those specials out of. Now, that special two you saw, he's he right now he's almost to that third special. So I I got pretty lucky there that he threw a special two and didn't let it go up to the special three. So we just baited out that special two, drop our SP one, and Thor Fraggle Rock. I mean Ragnarok goes down, and oh yeah, we've got some boss action. All right, so now I'm going to go after this Dormammu boss. Putting on some boosts here. I actually haven't fought a boss since I started making videos. And, um, you know, this one, this one's going to be interesting. Just wait and see. All right, 
This store mommy's got 253,000 hit points. I'm pretty sure that I can one-shot him, but uh, it doesn't work out for me so well. And you know what? I should have been more careful because this war was so close. I wasn't, we weren't actually even sure we were going to win. So I should have really left this up to the professionals. Um, I mean, it was, uh, you guys just, just watch and watch and see. I completely wasted the boosts that I put on Blade here because it was, it's just bad. I mean, I'm getting the, the, degens on me before I can regen and I'm losing this fight quicker than I can regen and I'm just right now trying to do as much damage as I can and it's just it's just not working so well I mean look at this this is this is I don't I don't even want to watch it on here because it is just really embarrassing I probably shouldn't even be showing you this because I'm dead I'm dead and I think this is actually my third death of the season. I've had three deaths and one timeout. So, but you know what? We actually did end up winning this war. It was extremely close. If you're not up to par on your math skills, we only won by 400 points. So that was close. That was a close one. We had a lot of deaths in this war. I don't know what was going on with us. But we had people dying on nodes that they don't normally die on against champs that they normally don't lose against. So everyone in this alliance seemed to be a bit off. We actually ended up getting over 40 deaths, and that is extremely unlike us. But, you know, we did squeak out the win, so the streak is still on. Not proud of our performance, gotta be honest. Uh, we're going to have to make some changes and, you know, move some paths around and stuff like that. It's getting to be the end of the war season, but I'm not sure if our quest back to Platinum is going to happen. But we'll see how everything turns out. So, remember, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, like and subscribe. And I'll keep you posted as our potential quest back to Platinum continues. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.